Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to GIS Chops. Today we're going to be talking about the Flickr tool. It's a tool in ArcGIS Pro that allows you to detect change in aerial imagery. At least that's what I've seen it used for. You can take an older aerial image and put a newer one on top of it and then make the top one flicker for a specified amount of time and it helps you find those areas that have been developed or add-ons to houses and things like that. So I'll show you how that's done. So here in this map I have two aerial imagery layers. One is the Esri World Imagery base map and then this other one is the 2012 National Agricultural Inventory Project aerial imagery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the 2012 imagery flicker over the world imagery from Esri. So to do that you come up here to the appearance tab and you have the one you want to flicker selected and this is the flicker tool right here and you just click this button it's a toggle if it's blue it's highlighted and now it's turning on and off every 500 milliseconds so that's every half second so you can see a lot of changes happened in this area quite a few new subdivisions you can even see there's a house down here that was demolished to make room for some apartment buildings you can pan the map move the map around as it flickers and it's not affected so you can see a new developments going in this area I, a whole new subdivision went in that little field and if you come look at this house right here you can see they took off their balcony or their overhang for their patio I guess to get more sun on their patio and this this house built a shed or a big garage or storage shed now if if I turn off a layer it's going to cancel the flickering. And like I said, this button is a toggle button. You can increase the time between flickers by increasing that number. So let's just make it a, a second. So there's one second between flickers. And you can change it to 100 and it'll flicker really fast. And we'll get it off that so we don't have any seizures. So if you watched my georeferencing video, you may have noticed that this area is where I georeferenced a subdivision plat using a subdivision boundary. If you'd like to go watch that video, go check out the card up top there and click play next and watch it next. So you can select any layer and have it participate in the flickering. So there's my subdivision plat that I've made the background transparent. I'll turn that one off and it'll stop the flicker. I can turn on my line layer and it will flicker as well as its labels. Then I turn on my polygon layer and then it flickers. So any any layer that you have selected in the contents pane, when you click on that button it's going to flicker that, that layer. Well I hope that helped you out. If it did, give this video a like. Tell your friends, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see the other videos in my Tool Belt Tuesday series, they're going to be right here. My latest videos up there, and hit that subscribe button up there. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time.